Hey there, Valorant players. Welcome back to Windows Fixer. I'm Asad, and today we are diving on an exciting journey into the world of Valorant optimization. Whether you are aiming for better FPS or smoother gameplay, this guide has got you covered. So let's dive right in and unlock the true potential of your Valorant experience. Before we begin, safety first. So before we diving into the optimization step, remember to create a restore point for your system. Click on the windows icon and then search here for restore point. Once you get here, just click on it. Now just select the C drive. If it's not protected, it should be turned off. So just make a protection first. Just like click here and click on the configuration and turn on the system protection. Once you've done this, your protection will be on. Now you can create a restore point before Valorant optimization. Just type here the Valorant optimization and then click on create. I have done this as you can see here when you click on the system restore, click on next and here you can see I have already created it. Now let's kick thing off by optimizing Valorant properties. So simply going on this PC and C drive. Once you go over there, now click on the Riot Games and then Valorant. Live and right click on Valorant, go into the properties. Now go into the capability modes and disable full screen optimization plus check the this option. Run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. Now click on the shooter games, binary, Win64. And here you will get another file called Valorant Win64 Shipping. Just right click on it, go into the properties, capability mode again, disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. Now let's move on the next step. Let's enhance the visual aspect. We will make adjustment to both the Valorant file and the Riot client to achieve the best possible performance. For that, click on the windows icon, search for graphic settings. Now by default, it's turned off like this. You need to turn it on. What it will do, reduce latency and improve performance. And then click on the browse option. And here you need to import the Riot client. And of course, click on the Valorant, Valorant live and add this Valorant. After adding this, one more file you need to do here you need to add here click again on the valorant this time shooter binary win64 and of course this file hit add i have already added so click on the first one and go into the option and set here the high performance by your external gpu save it and do the same with other two files once you have done this just close it now let's move on the next step exploiting control flow card exploits can be powerful tool add valorant to your program and override system settings for control flow guard which is cfg then turn it off to boost performance how you can do it just click on the windows icon type at the exploit exploit protection once you open this click on this program settings and add your valorant over here now you can also add by program names just like this but we are gonna do here choose exact file path and then add the valorant over here once you add scroll down until you will get here the control flow guard cfg and check this option and by default it will turn on just turn it off hit apply one more file i'm gonna add here and that is shooter binary win64 and this one and do the same find here the control flow guard check this and turn it off hit apply and that's it now close it managing background apps unwanted background apps can drag down your performance let's close the curtains on them for uninterrupted gameplay click on the windows icon and search here for background apps once you search here by default it's turned on you need to turn it off and that's it one more thing you can do here i'm just including it type here ms config sorry ms 
config and open the system configuration once you open this go into the boot advanced option number of process check this option and select the maximum course hit ok go into the services hide all microsoft services now here you can uncheck the unnecessary services for better performance you can also go here into the startup and here you can disable all the unwanted programs that actually these programs run when you start up your operating system so disable if it's not important after doing these now let's move on the another option farewell to xbox feature xbox feature can be resource hugs bite them farewell to free up precious resources so for that click here and search here for xbox now sometimes it's not appearing here just click on the windows icon go into the settings once you go over there now simply you need to see here the gaming options go over there and turn this option off you can also go here into the capture option uh, sorry game mode and make sure to turn this option on for some games for some system specs it's work perfectly but if you are facing stuttering then just turn this option off and then close it now another feature creating ultimate performance with powershell barris yourselves for the commands that change the game and uh, i'll put that command in the description to create an ultimate performance power plan now i'll show you simply you need to go click on the windows icon then type here the powershell and run as administrator once you launch this just paste here the command and it will create a ultimate performance for you just hit enter and then close it now click on the windows tab here the power option and go into the edit plans now one step we will go back into the power option and here you will see the further option ultimate performance now select the ultimate performance and close it okay now a lot of people just avoid this option ending chrome's background party chrome's background activities can be distracting we will shut off the continuously running background apps features just open the chrome and then click on these three dots and then here on the settings once you go into the settings go into the system and here is the option called continue running background apps with google chrome even if it's closed so by default it's turned on just turn it off and in case if you are a streamer and you are just watching your videos while streaming then you can also turn this option on for better performance now some further fps boost with the fps boost pack just extract it and then open it now all these steps perform same as i am doing we are starting from zero start now make sure every file run as administratorly now in this section it's a restore point so we have already done it just avoid this now let's move on the second batch optimization clear dns cache for better ping just run as administrator press any key and that's it delete log files run as administrator and it will done everything for you press any key now delete temporary files just right click on it run as administrator and hit any key disable hpet run as administratorly and press any key now in some cases it's not working so in that case you can just click here after restart you can just verify this type here the device manager open the device manager and now here you can see system devices in my case i have already done this but when you restart your PC, just check it out. If it's not disabled, just right click on it and disable it. Now BC edits tweak. Latency BC edits. 
press any key and that's it clean now it's every everybody knows that it's cleaning your junk files and cache a lot of database that work just like configuration files of valorant and some furthers so don't worry about this just do it And after doing this, select the drive. Now, probably the C drive where you have window. Click OK. Now it will scan the driver resources and update, etc. So we'll clean them. Just select all. And delete files. press any key and close it now go back again gpu and video only now a lot of pupils are using this i'm not recommending this because everybody providing you with according to their specs etc etc like this profile so that's why i'm not recommending this it's better to watch my watch my video in the i button about the nvidia control panel how you can optimize valorant according to your specs so that's the perfect video just go ahead watch that let's move on network in the network section there's a network tweaks actually this will not much impact on your um, wi-fi actually if you are using a wireless then it's good do it now registry tweak just go over there abdo register tweaks just right click on it and run as administrator there are a lot of files um, extra registry files that are working with your operating system but it's not necessary for your gaming so we are closing those svc host split now here you need to select the amount of your ram i'm using 12 gb if you don't know just right click on this pc and you can see over here the installed ram just right click on ram merge and that's it now full screen optimization the again same option that we already have done but you can apply again so it will work with all the games now ping reduction registry and wake up all cores that's it now windows optimization disable unnecessary services there are a lot of unnecessary services so we are just disable those improve response time so there's a lot of animations we are just closing those animations and optimize all windows settings optimize cpu sorry my bad and go back now windows setting again performance option and here you can see the performance settings in which you can just disable these options and this will not actually improve your fps but in case if you are a dual monitor user then it's important it will impact your performance so you can go for the best performance otherwise just leave as it is now window setting just run everything as an administrator and press any key and that's it now windows 10 dev loaders master dev loader masters I don't know if I'm pronouncing um, now here you need to do some things like Windows 10 developer and run it with so unfortunately my recording is interrupted because of launching these tools so right now I'm recording again from here with OBS and you can see it's so hard like making content for you guys so hit the subscribe button anyways now here you will see the three files uh, Windows 10 D Devloader, Windows 10, Devloader GUI, and Windows 10 SOS Pre Devloader. Anyways, three files are almost same. Simply, you need to go with the third one and run with PowerShell. Okay, now it's scanning all the activities, and if there's any unimportant file, it will close it. 
and some extra services that comes with windows uh, programs like skype or some extra programs that come with your windows it will close them and delete them from your operating system and that's it almost is done that's it guys now restart your pc and just let me know how much it will impact on your fps and stable performance i hope you like this video hit the subscribe button share it with friend and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section i'll respond to you as soon as possible till then just take yourself allah hafiz bye bye